hey guys welcome back again so in this video let's see that how do we make our node.js application super fast and the bonus thing is this that it will also use less bandwidth of your server so let's see how to do that so here i've created a very basic express application as we see here that inside this package.json file i simply have one dependency and that is the express dependency and then we have a start script that is nodemon app.js and if you haven't installed nodemon globally then you can simply do npm install hyphen g nodemon so now let me close this package.json file and here we have our express application and we are listening on port 3000 and we only have a single route that is the home route and here we have a string that is called payload which says power faster wrap which uses less, less bandwidth too and then we are simply sending back that response so let's go to our chrome browser here and let's reload it and we see that we are getting this thing here so now let me inspect it here and now let's go to the network tab here and here let's refresh it and if we see here or let me hard refresh it so here we see that we have this document that is coming from localhost and its size is 248 bytes so now what i'll do i'll increase this payload length by doing repeat here that is a repeat function on this string so that this string is repeated 100 times like this and now let's go back and now let's refresh it and this time we see that the size is increased that is 4.5 kb so now let's go back and let's repeat this string 10,000 times and then let's go back again and let's uh, refresh it again and this time we see that the size of our document is 430 kb if somehow we can reduce the size of this document that is coming from the server we can simply make our application faster since if the size is less then the data is transferred much faster and so that's what we are going to do in this video so now what we can do we can reduce the size that is coming from the server and it is very easy to do so let's go back here and for this we need to install one dependency and that is called compression so let's install that so npm install hyphen save compression like this and then we are going to use this uh, compression module as a middleware so first let me start the application like this and now what i'll do i'll simply say const compression equal to require compression like this and then finally what we are going to do after initializing the application we are going to use this compression module as the middleware so we can simply say app dot use and here we can simply initialize this compression function so compression like this though here we can pass in our object here and we'll be doing that in a moment but firstly let's save this application and let's go back here and now previously as we saw that uh, for 10,000 repetitions of this string we are getting a size of 430 kilobytes so now let's uh, hard refresh it again and this time we see that the size is reduced to 1.6 kb only from 430 kilobytes to 1.6 kilobytes and that is much faster that is about 400 times less than it was previously before and that is because it is using compression and that is gzip compression so if we look at uh, if we click here and if we look at the headers here that is coming as a response headers we see that we have this content encoding and that is gzip which is applied to our document and therefore we are getting this reduced size of 1.6 kilobytes only so now let's see that what are the options we can pass here so firstly we can pass in the level of compression so the level of compression ranges from minus 1 to 9 9 for best compression ratio and minus 1 for default compression level and 0 for no compression at all and for typical use cases you should make the level of compression to be 6 that is the best optimization of cpu usage on your node.js server or you can choose it to be minus 1 that is the default thing here so let's keep it at 6 here and now what more we can provide here we can provide here a threshold limit below which no data would be compressed so that the default threshold limit is one kilobyte so if we provide here zero then each and every data from your server to the client would be compressed so let's provide here zero or if you want to provide here some value that is if you want your data that is less than 100 kb should not be compressed so you can pass in 100 times 1000 because it's in bytes 
So therefore we are providing here that is any data which is less than 100 kilobytes should not be compressed. And then you can also pass in a filter function here. So let's pass in a filter function here that takes in request and response as the arguments here like this. And here we can return false if we do not want compression on our request or we can return compression.filter if we want compression on our request. So if suppose your client sends in headers like this, that is if request.headers and here suppose if your clients pass here in a header like x no compression, then what we can do, we can simply return false from here. That is we do not want this request to be compressed. Otherwise what we can do, we can simply return here that compression dot filter and here we can simply say request from our response like this though I cannot demo you this thing here but you can use this function also so now let's see so now let's repeat this string 1000 times and this time I suppose that our threshold level would be 100 uh, less than 100 kilobytes so our request would not be compressed so let's uh, force refresh it and we are getting 43.2 kilobytes and this is not being compressed because our threshold level is 100 kilobytes and above so now let's reduce that threshold limit so let's reduce it to 10 kilobytes so now let's go and this time let's refresh it and this time we see that our document size is only 489 bytes and it's not even a kilobyte so previously so it was 43.2 kilobytes and this time it is only 489 bytes so guys, this is how you can use the compression module in Node.js Express application and it will make your apps much faster as compared to the traditional apps without using the compression module and moreover it will use your less server bandwidth wherever you have hosted your server. So if you have liked the video do hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel and if you want support you can support on the links given in the description below. So thank you bye bye tata take care and have a good day.